guys, it is true, and um, I'm going to be doing a review of sorts of a of an older toy, and a DX toy for that matter. We have here the DX Den Gasher from Kamen Rider Den-O. Um, if some might notice, it's a different box. This is the time when Den-O was still being aired. Um, there was a Legend series um, Den Gasher that was released before. Um, but this one is, again, the first um, that was released. So here's the box. There is part of Den Gasher. And it shows all four forms, sword, rod, axe, and gun. And there it is. How is the holster on the Den-O belt. And again, I'm filming this at um, early in the morning. You will be hearing that rooster every now and then. But here we are, Master of the Den-O series number two. And all right, let's open it up and then let's see um, how this holds after all these years. All right, and here I have it unboxed. So what um, what consists of the den gasher would be the four main den gasher parts, and then we have the holster for the den gasher. Uh, these holsters would just slide onto any belt. Um, just to show it real quick. I got, I got the extendo belt. And it'll just slide like so. And just slide it out too. Now just to um, show it real quick, there is a sequence of sorts, a pattern on where the den gasher slides into the holster um two on each side this is for the right side or right side of the body and this one's for the left so we'll do the right side it actually just snaps in Like so. And just simply there it is. On the left it's always gonna be the axe part and then this big um, middle part on the right it's the one that um, it's the one that ends um, or ones that's almost always at the end this one and the main handle they'll all mark um, with numbers one two three and the main one so there now the only thing that's going to be battery powered would just be the main handle one, the one that has the button. The rest are just um, blocks, so to speak. Um, battery case would be screw uh, would have one screw powered by two AAA batteries. And so let's switch it on. All right, and we got a light. Oops, I pressed this one. So that's the gimmick. Um, if you're going to be assembling the um, the weapons, there are certain buttons here that will be hit by pegs. Like for example, on this one, there is that one peg over there. All right. And so let's try to assemble all four. Um, we can do five if we're going to be including gun form, but I'm sorry wing form but wing form does not have any specific sounds um, so we'll try to assemble all of them but first off 
if you're just going to be pressing the button on the end gasher without any weapons formed. That's the sound um, where the um, end gasher is on standby and the weapons are being assembled. So let's do sword form first. Now, there are certain, there's a certain um, way according to the instructions on how you assemble it, but I'll do it like how Mamataros um, would usually do it. We'll take number two and number three. Like so. Then we got this middle part here. And then we'll take number one. And then we'll just press these two buttons on the side. And I'll snap in. And then we'll take this and we'll press these two buttons. That would sound. That would make a sound telling us that um, a, a weapon has been formed, and then the tiniest sword blade that you'll ever see. I would say, but that's already how sword form looks like, and. Just to show the light. And that's it. That's it for the sword form. Next would be rod form. Rod form would be a bit straightforward. One, two, three. And we now have the shortest fishing rod that you'll ever see. And we have this thing here, the reel. There we go. And for as for the sound. I almost forgot to mention that these sounds are all show accurate. So whenever you, whatever you, sound you hear coming from the toy, it's also the, the sound that you'll be hearing on um, in the show when the weapon is being used. So let's get on to the axe form. This one's a bit complicated to build. We got this. All right, and we here. Like so. And we take the handle. And finally, we take the blade. And here we now have the axe form. It's a bit believable, though the axe blade is small compared to what um, Kintaros has in the show. And finally, we'll do my favorite form, um, the gun form. So we'll take these two. Snap it together. We'll take the handle. There we go. Um, the batteries may be a bit weak, that's why it's doing that. And finally, we'll take this part. It. And here we now have the gun form. And 
In handling this form though, you have to be careful. You might press this button by accident. And you won't get any sound from the good form. But, at this form, there we go. Finally, we'll try to do the wing form. Um, it's just a hand axe. Like so. And just this, a boomerang, a knife boomerang. There will be no sound because it's not an official, it's not um, a predetermined form. So that's why if you press this, you just get a standby sound. But these are wing farms weapons. These were released during the time when um, then uh, Kamen Rider Toys had just had um, the original uh, basic gimmick wherein under no extra items like um, lock seeds, wizard rings, um, shift cars, um, icons and all of that. Um, it's very basic. It's just um, the default, just um, these toys, it will work on their own. And that's what makes them really playable on their own without needing to, uh, without requiring to get anything from um, any other, any other stuff. I would say, um, I, I really like this toy, being that it's, um, by its size, it's very show accurate regarding how you build each weapon, and then how to build the trap. And it's um, very, you can imitate what is being done on the show as well. And it makes different sounds without, um, without having anything extra. So there. Um, if you can get the Legend series um, or the or the original DX toys, um, you can. I would recommend. If, I would recommend you get it if you are a Deno fan. Um, but I don't think they're going to be coming in as um, cheaper and cheap nowadays. Um, but still, if you would like, if you want to get um, a piece of Camarado Deno, then look out for this one so there all right thanks for watching this video and i'll see you guys in another one bye bye